Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be filming, I'm going to be filming my updated football card collection which I meant to film last month so it was like six months since I posted my first one but I actually did film it and I lost all the footage so I obviously couldn't post that so I need to film it again and that's what I'm going to be filming for you guys today. The reason I wanted to film it now is because obviously as you can tell if you watched my first full card video I actually had to upgrade my binder because the one I was using before was like a clear PVC one and it just wasn't sturdy enough to carry the full cards because they're super duper heavy and this binder is like completely full now so I'm going to need to upgrade it to a two inch binder really soon so I figured I'm gonna film this now before I upgrade to a different binder just so you can see what everything looks like as it is. I also just want to say that my Jungkook collection isn't as far ahead as I wanted it to be with the Korean album cards. Pretty much I just don't think they're like super high priority because you're always going to be able to find Korean album cards. They're not rare, they're still in production. So I'm not in any rush to get the Korean album cards. Uh, the same with actual physical Korean albums because things like DVDs and just other things that they release, sometimes they're like a limited release. So you want to kind of buy them while you still can whereas again with the albums they're always going to be in production so they're not kind of at the top of my collecting list but that's why i have a lot of filler cards for my junket collection and as a last touch i also just want to note that even though they're not going to be in this video the only cards i have um coming are the in the soup pre-order gift cards and then the set of photo cards from the seventh army membership kit that was just released i just renewed my membership so those will also be coming within the next couple months but otherwise this is like my full entire collection since about march i would say is the last time i purchased photo cards when we went into lockdown so yeah this is about four months worth of collecting never take a few things that came with um other purchases so yeah we're just gonna get right into it so this binder is actually from wh smith it's this gorgeous mint and marble binder it's actually got a little where is it let me see can i find it it's actually got a little elastic string uh, that's pink and I really like this because it keeps all your photo cards nice and secure and snug and then the inside is also this really adorable pink polka dot so if you want to buy this binder I'll link it in the description if it's still available so the first section I have in my binder is actually my Jungkook section as you can see so we start off with the Korean album cards uh, the first three here are all BTS world cards this is the double-sided regular card the night version qr code card and then the one from the limited edition soundtrack we then also have the full set of his cards from persona which if you watch my original photo card video i actually mixed these two up <laughs> but now they're in the right order so don't fret i haven't bought any of the cards from seven yet because they're still really expensive i did actually buy one from korea but it got lost in the mail sadly so i just haven't bought any of the cards from seven yet we then have a lot of filler cards and then Jungkook's card from Love Yourself Answer, version E, and the rest are just filler cards. They're all just empty. I know, I'm awful. There's then my Japan section. So I actually, I had half of them, but now they've released a bunch more cards that I'm gonna need to buy because Map of the Soul the Journey just came out. So I have all the recent ones from Lights and then I'm missing cards that I haven't put fillers in yet for. So this one is from Run, Youth, airplane part two which um i actually have the group card sleeve for as well and then this one is from lights boy with love then these are universal music store japan postcards that were released uh for promotion in japan so this one is from blood sweat and tears this is make drop dna crystal snow fake love airplane part two and then lights boy with love i love these so much these were actually why i started collecting and then i kind of also bought a couple of the Japanese photo cards even though I said I wasn't gonna get into collecting the Japanese photo cards. I love these postcards so much I couldn't. They're just they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I'm so glad that I have them. Then we have a tiny little section for fourth muster in Japan. The reason I like the Japan version of this merchandise is because the borders of them are blue and Jungkook's colors for the fourth muster were yellow so they look really cute together. And that's why I bought the Japanese version of this. So this is a square postcard that was released of Jungkook's little decorating room when he decorated the memory jars. It's super duper cute. I'm so glad that I have this. I actually thought it was lost in the mail, but it came a few months after it should have because obviously what happened with the mailing system because of COVID. But you know, you can't really complain. I'm not going to complain. If it's slower than it needs to be, then that's absolutely fine as long as people are staying safe and they're working in 
clean conditions. I don't really care how long it takes for my mail to get to me. We then also have a couple of the cloud cards from Japan. I've only got one in five. Individually these cards are pretty hard to find. I found these two for a really good price from the same seller and I kind of wish I just held off so I could have bought the full set of five because you find the full sets more than you find the individual ones but I'm not too bothered to be honest. Um, I'll find them eventually. I love the cloud cards so much. Fourth muster has just such a special place in my heart. I loved all the merchandise that was released for Fourth Muster so much. We then have a couple um, things from Bring the Soul. So these were Weverse exclusives, I think. So it came with a set of seven postcards, one of each member, and then a special lenticular card. So this is Jungkook's postcard from the set, which is the only one I have. And then I also bought his lenticular. This was actually a birthday present to myself because I love this card so much. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Look at that. And I found it for a really good price. So I had a bit of extra birthday money, so I decided to buy it for myself. And I love it a lot. You know, I say that as if I haven't you know, I'm the one that buys all these cards, so it's not as if it was like a special occasion for me to buy it, but it is the most expensive card I have in here, so I'm gonna call it a birthday present still. We then move on to just a couple kind of random cards that I squeezed in in the middle section here. This is a card from Puma. This was a promotional card. It's actually double-sided, which you'll see when I flip the page over. But before BTS were sponsored by Fila, they were sponsored by Puma. And that's where that came from. There was then a couple of VT Cosmetics cards. These came with the perfumes that were released last year, I think. And the only reason I have these is because I bought them in a set with my Blood, Sweat & Tears Japan postcard. I actually got all three of them for half of the price I would have paid for just the postcard. So that's why I have these. <laughs> Next we have a couple Mediheal cards. These were released with a set of sheet masks. I'm not too sure which cards came from which set of sheet masks, but I did buy all of Jungkook's. So this is the first set and then this is the second set. And I think this set is my favorite. I love this set a lot. I just, I love this card. This card is so, oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Then we have a very lonely winter package photo. The, I, this annoyed me so much that these didn't fit into four pocket sleeves because I would have loved to have all of them in here, but it just, they look so weird sideways. But I put Jungkook's in here because I have a whole Jungkook section. He's just in here for the now, but I might actually end up moving him back just into the box. <laughs> then we have a couple of season's greetings cards. This is the message PBC greeting card for the new year which has little cute rats on it because we're in the year of the rat and then we have his lenticular as well which is super duper pretty i actually got this for a really good price um i have a video up on my channel of me opening a couple photo cards and this was one of the ones i opened in there so again i will link that for you if you want to go watch it i also just have a full season's greetings unboxing up as well i'm going to be linking so many videos in this because i'll keep mentioning videos where i've unboxed things that have the card in them. <laughs> this one is a mini poster from Seasons Greetings which is super duper pretty with his long hair. I'm so glad we at least got some photos of Jungkook when he had a super duper long hair. I will cherish these forever. This one is from Summer Package 2019. Again, super duper pretty. I don't have all of the boys mini posters in here anymore because they just take up a whole lot of space that they don't need to be taking up so I keep Jungkook's in here because as I said I have a full Jungkook section because if you couldn't guess he's my bias so that's why Jungkook's are in here and then the other boys are just kind of like in the boxes that the DVDs came in and I do take them out and look at them they don't just stay in there but they're just not in my binder. These are uh, a couple booklets that come with DVDs this is the drawing diary from Summer Package 2019 and then this is Jungkook's mini photo book from Winter Package 2020 both of which I was lucky enough to pull in my own albums at uh, albums? DVDs. <laughs> then we have like my full BTS section where I have all of my members. So pretty much when it comes to me pulling things in my DVDs or albums, I always keep my pulls. I'm one of these people that gets super duper attached to the cards that I pull myself in albums. That's why I kind of have like a really random selection of cards because I pull a lot of Jin and a lot of Hobie and I try for the most part to keep my cards to like full sets. So say for instance, when I bought Persona, I pulled Jungkook for version 1, so I went ahead and bought a Tay so that I would have a Tay to put in this spot. But you also might notice that I have five of these cards because this was before I got super into photo card collecting, so I just bought some cards. Now I have an extra version 2 card. So I might actually go ahead and sell Jimin's because I pulled Jin's, but then again, this is like a full page, so uh, I don't know. Photo card collecting is like a super strange hobby because there's no really right way to do it. It's how you like to do it, and it makes things even more 
more confusing. We also have cards from Map of the Soul 7 down here. Then these are kind of just some random cards from albums I have. This is from You Never Walk Alone. We've got Love Yourself Tear, Love Yourself Answer. These were both of my pulls from BTS World. And then we have a couple of cards from Dark and Wild. I pulled Hobie and I absolutely love the group card that I got. It's so freaking cute. Then we just have a couple of the bigger cards. We've got Yugi from Wings and then this is Namjoon from Young Forever. Then the next little section here is some album extras. So these are the film reels from Persona. We also have the postcard set from Persona. I pulled a double gin so I went ahead and sold one of them and with that money I went ahead and bought a Namjoon because I think he was my favourite from all the other ones. He's just so cute. Like look at him. So now I have Jin, Namjoon, Tae and Jungkook. We also have the postcards that came with Map of the Soul 7. I kept all four of mine, so they're in here. And then we have a couple full sets of cards. These ones came with the special edition army bomb, the new special edition army bomb. I think Tay's might be my favourite from this set. This card is so cute. And then we have the fake love version ones from army bomb version 3. These ones are just so gorgeous. Look at this gen 1, look how cute he looks. It's, oh, they're just... These cards are just so pretty. I'm so glad I bought both of these army bombs because I just love these photo cards so much. I also have a video of me opening the army bombs up on my channel as well, which I will link for you. Oh, and there's sixth army membership cards, which I also so happen to have a video of me unboxing up on my channel, which I will also link for you if you want to go watch that. These are the full set of cards from uh, the sixth army membership kit, which was themed around BTS cinema. And I absolutely love this set of cards. This might be one of my favorite sets of cards that BTS have ever released. I just, I love them so much. They're so pretty. So we have Namjoon, Suga, Jin, Hobi, Jimin, Tae, and Jungkook. And you might notice that with my full sets, I have them organized in big hit order, which is Namjoon, Suga, and then oldest, youngest, just because that's the way I like to organize my cards. We also have Winter Package and Helinski, the little PVC kind of clear uh, photo card that came with that. I had an extra spot here so that's where I put it and it doesn't- I always seem to mess this one up whenever I'm in my binder. It never likes to sit in the middle. It's super duper annoying. Then there's just a couple postcards. We've got one from the fourth muster. This is the user guide from the sixth army membership kit. One very lonely Yugi Memories of 2018 card. I don't buy a lot of DVDs that actually come with photo cards this size, so that's why he's the only one in here. And when I bought my copy of the fourth muster, I bought it secondhand uh, without a photo card, so he's just in here by himself. But I do have Memories of 2019 on the way, so he will have a friend eventually. But for right now, he's just all by himself. It's really sad. Then we have a couple of lenticulars. This is my pull from the season's greetings 2020. I got Namjoon, and I can't bring myself to sell him because he's so cute, so he's just in here. And then there's also a couple more lenticulars from Fifth Monster in Japan. That's where these came from. Yep, Fifth Monster in Japan. Again, I've got an unboxing for that up on my channel. If you want to go watch it, I'll link it in the description. I I have I'm giving myself so much work to do here, but just in case you want to watch them, you know, I put a lot of work into my videos. So if you want to go watch it, you can. And then the full set of cards from Fourth Monster, Fifth Monster. Japan. Why do I have so many things from the musters? It's getting so confusing. Fifth muster Japan. My full set of cards. I can't tell yet if I want to do a full set of grey ones or if I'm... I mean I'm happy leaving them like this but I do like it when they all match. I don't know. But yeah this is just my set as it stands right now. Then this is fifth muster in Korea. Half of my set is actually fake so these three are the real ones that I purchased. The rest of them all came with a fake set and I'm slowly working on just replacing them with real cards. It's a bit all over the place right now I apologize. Then this is a love yourself set. I believe this is a Japan set if I remember correctly. This is my favourite set of concert cards so I had to go ahead and get my favourite ones. The only one I'm missing right now is Suga because as I said the last cards I purchased were in March and I had a couple go missing in the mail so I didn't buy any more and I still just haven't gotten around to buying more just in case. So Yugi's is the only one that's missing but he is here so he is on the page he's not missing entirely and I think my favourite might be this Tay one. This one was super duper hard to find actually and I ended up finding it on eBay from a 
really good Japanese seller who have them listed for really good prices. Then we have a couple Christmas pictures. I'm not too sure where these came from. I don't know where this photo shoot came from, but it definitely was from last Christmas. I think that I love this one of Yugi with the BTS stockings. I got these for free with my winter package DVD, but I genuinely just don't know where they came from. I don't know if they're official, unofficial, I don't know. Like, I don't know where these came from, but I'm really glad that I have them. And then the kind of last section I have here are like my album and DVD extras. So we have the full set of notes from Map of the Soul 7, the full set of notes from Persona and then a couple random ones from Love Yourself Tier O and Love Yourself Answer E. There's also the colouring in pages from Map of the Soul 7. I then also kept just one of the sticker sheets from my Map of the Soul 7 albums just so I had like a complete one that I could look at. The other ones I have used a lot because I mean just look at these stickers. I love this one. This one's my favourite but they're super duper cute. How many times have I called things super duper cute in this video? Probably too many times. <laughs> another set of stickers from Love Yourself Answer, which I'll probably, when I buy another version of this, uh, put two in here and then I can use two just so it evens it out a little bit. Then we have a couple of sticker sheets from my DVDs, which I recently put in here because I realized that they were just kind of sitting in the DVD boxes because I don't plan on using them because they just, they look so cute as a set. You know, like look at, look at these Jungkook ones. Like look at this, it's so cute. I just I can't bring myself to use them they're just adorable and then these ones for memories of 2017 like this one of Jungkook adorable this one of Tay sleeping adorable this one of Jen look at that they're all just uh they're so good and I can't I just I can't bring myself to use them because what if I end up throwing out what I stick them on so they're just they're in my binder so that I can look at them forever and ever and ever then and this one kind of random we've got love yourself tears standy in here because I don't have anywhere to put it so I just put it in here and then the lenticular concert card from BTS world the boys appear and disappear just like they do in the game then we have a page for all of my QR cards from albums. I keep them in here just because I think they look quite aesthetically pleasing. We also have some BT21 tags, which I just realised that they've updated Mong. This is the old version and this is the new one. I didn't even realise they were different. But this one is super duper cute compared to this one, I'm not gonna lie, that's adorable. But yeah, this is my miscellaneous page. So we've got some baby tags, one from last Halloween and one from last Christmas. We've got a couple Mongs here and then a Shiki. This page is full of cookies. Then we just have like the regular BT21 tags. Again, these two came with baby items. This one was a Halloween tag. The rest of them are just like the basic black tags that I popped in here just so that they wouldn't get lost. And then, oh my god, this is so heavy. This has all my posters in it. I did have a big wall that I would put my posters on, but I recently just took them down because I'm repainting my bedroom. So they're all just in here. I completely forgot I put these in the back here, but yeah, the very last page in here just has all my thank you notes in it. So when I buy cards, even, I think there's a couple pin thank you notes in here from when I buy pins. I just, I can't throw them out because people actually took the effort to write me them. So they're just right in the very back here. And that concludes my entire binder. But my first video actually did super duper well. Thank you so much for showing that video so much love and support. Hopefully you liked seeing my updated collection. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I will have a lot of unboxings coming up over the next few months because BTS have had a super busy August releasing a bunch of stuff for us. So definitely if you want to see some of those, you can subscribe. Uh, but don't feel like you have to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.